Oh, looky what we have here. The secret keeping cats are telling secrets to each other. Let's play a game. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are in Boardman, Ohio, knocking out some of these Ohio stores before I get on the road to the west side of the country. Today, we are in Boardman at this Spirit Halloween, somebody in hot pursuit. That's what my driving instructor always used to say in high school when I was learning how to drive. She'd hear sirens and she'd yell, somebody in hot pursuit. Anyway, so we are at this Spirit Halloween here in Boardman, Ohio. And as you can see by the label scar, this used to be a Joanne Fabrics, or as I like to call it, J-Fabs. I do love the look of the front of this building, guys. Let's go ahead in. I love how it says Halloween. <laughs> Here we go. Excuse me, miss. Could you maybe like brighten up a little bit? You are at Spirit Halloween after all. Holy crap, guys. Look who they have front and center up here. It's hot nozzles. Look at this, guys. This is an enormous store, and I see all kinds of awesome stuff I want to check out. But first, let's see what's going on. Do you hear that? I have not heard that before. It... What the heck, man? Who is hooing at me? All right, we got to figure out where that's coming from. It's like an evil hoot owl or something. Okay, hoot at me. All right, I hear it over here. What in the world? It must just be a sound that these pillars make when they're activated. Because you can hear this one with some spooky sounds. And there it is. Holy crap, that is loud. That's like a spooky, scary, loud hooting owl. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so, back to what we were talking... We keep getting interrupted by the hoot owl. Okay, anyways. Back to what we were talking about here, guys. Look at this. We have popping pins right here, and we have the straw man right here. Here's the straw man. Let's get him going. Did you know that this land is cursed? The original farmer buried his victims in this very field. They say it helped to keep his soil nice and fertilized. Would you care to see where the remains lie? <laughs> I love how he looks with the spooky tree behind him and the spooky sounds behind him as well. Let's leave him a couple of stickers here. There you go. And yes, on to Poppin' Pins here. So, the reason I'm calling him Poppin' Pins, guys, is because, first of all, he's holding the pins. Second, he reminds me of the Poppin' Pins bowling alley in Preston, Idaho that you get to see in the movie Napoleon Dynamite. All right, let's get him going. Mr. Stilts here. He is pretty awesome, but I think they should have named him Pins. Because really, what does stilts have to do with anything? I mean, he's super tall, which is cool, but Pins would have been much better. He kind of has a grandma hairdo, too. A blue, he's a blue hair. Excuse me, sir, you're going to be late for bingo. <laughs> okay, let's go on through the Spirit Hallows Cemetery and see this guy right here. Ooh, okay. For a minute, I thought he didn't have a, a step pad. Here we go. Ooh, uh-oh. He's kind of glitching out. Which is actually kind of cool. It makes him a little bit more spooky. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. What the heck? Okay, sir. We're going to leave you alone to get a little bit of rest. All right, over here, guys, we have poor George. Look at this guy's face. Once again, I love his orange hair. I really do. When I saw him online, I really wasn't sure what I was going to think about him, but he's so much bigger in person, and he's so much cooler. Let's get him going. <laughs> He is super loud in here today, too. Holy crap. All right, let's go on into the crypt here. We have the burning candles of death. Are these battery operated? No. 
These actually have a cord to them, so anybody who's thinking maybe I'll buy those, they actually feel like they're real wax, and they are wired in, so they're not battery operated, which means that their batteries will not die. We have the spooky fabric of death here. Wait a minute, what in the heck is going on with this guy? He's got something sticking out his butt. Excuse me, sir, you have something sticking out your butt. Let's see if it'll affect him. Here we go. <laughs> you know, for some reason I was thinking his eyes light up, but I'm totally wrong. And it must just be the way that he's put together there that the back end is sticking out. But that looks very strange. Like he has a broken leg. I think he needs to go to the hospital. All right, let's check out the super scary Wicked Maker. AKA Sitting Scarecrow. Very cool, sir. I see you don't have any treats in your bucket for me. I'm very disappointed. And we have to say hello to Grim's Arm. This is an awesome store, guys. We got lots of stuff to look at here. But first, we're going to look at this guy, Mr. Slim from Killer Clowns. <laughs> His hair actually looks pretty good. All right, Mr. Slim, we're gonna move on. There you go, save your popcorn for someone else who wants to die. All right, look at this, we have three Bubba's here, man's possessed friend. Over here we have a Slim and a Skelly Bones, a Grave Watcher, and they have a black heart, guys. Hmm, I'm very tempted on that one. We have a couple of sitting scarecrows over here, just the regular sitting scarecrows. And look what they have back here. First of all, they have two scary sitting scarecrows there. But look at this, guys. A howling spirit. He is awesome. I am very, very tempted to pick him up today. But first, let's go take a look at him. Look at him right here. Howling Spirit, $199. I gotta say again, I love how they have the leaves out here. That's so Halloween-y. All right, hello, sir. Let's see if we can get him going. Is he on the, yeah, there we go. He is pretty dang cool. And I like how he just kind of hangs out over here rather than just going straight up. That is really cool. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't say hello to you. Hello, Mr. Brown Jumping Spider. Oh, so we have a whole bunch of brand new spiders here. But then we have this one here that's 50% off because he doesn't jump and he doesn't have a box. All right, let's journey back this way. So we didn't look at the headstones. First we have, here lies Lord Farquaad. Now what I understand is... This is only part of the setup. You can buy it, but it's not gonna be until the end of the season. But you can get this guy right here, the gargoyle, who apparently is not on. <laughs> I thought he was gonna start making sounds at us there. And you can buy the spooky trees, but again, not until the end of the season. Oh my gosh, look who we have here. It is Darling Dolly, AKA Darling Dollar. Hello, miss. First, let's check out Eternal Rest and see how her head does in here. Does it work? Is she gonna work? Come on now. Oh, the head is trying to spin, but it's not working at all. Okay, anyways, on to Darling Dolly. Let's go ahead and hit the button here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You can see her eyes lit up in the hair. Look at this, her face is totally covered with the hair. <laughs> That is too funny. When I stepped on the button though, you could see her eyes light up through the hair. Look at her hands. Look how she has these long spooky fingers. That is crazy. She is a really cool prop. Oh, there goes the head. It's spinning now. All right, let's come over here and see Gordo. I was hoping they would have him for sale on the floor. $149.99. Come on, Gordo, here we go. Here we go. Come on, Gordo. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. It was so cool how this stuff didn't fall down until after he had jumped up. I love that. And like I said before, it's so much bigger than what I expected. That is a huge pumpkin. 
All right, guys, I'm going to look on the floor in a minute here because we do have some other boxes, and I want to see if they have Gordo in stock. But first, let's go over here and check out the Blackheart. $299.99, the Blackheart right here, ready to scare us. Show us the reveal of your bride. Uh, so I love all the sounds that are going on in here, but you just can't hear him. I haven't been in a store yet where you could really hear what he was saying. It could just be that he needs to be turned up because I do hear the Grave Watcher. She's over here making a lot of noise. Why does she have to turn off as soon as we walk? There we go. She is actually pretty cool. I should buy her. But then, of course, we have Lil Skelly Bones, who I do have at home. Come on, Skelly, come on. Come on, Skelly, come on. I can hear him. Come on, Skelly. <laughs> you gotta love Skelly Bones. And then I think we have the jumping spider back here. I think it's gonna be the same in every store. Yep, there he is. Hello, sir. With your whole your whole armada of little spiders back there. All right, let's look on the floor here for a minute. We have some posable life-size skeletons here. I don't see anything over there. We do have, well, these look like they're just some stuffed dummy props over here. We have some more posable skeletons over here. Stuffed dummy prop. Sinister spirit dolls. We have the fogging skull pile. We have the creepy crimson girl, the swinging witch, and the empty soul girl. Over this way, we have the 55-inch floor candelabra here. We have some ground breakers here. Oh, look, they have a scarecrow, a scarecrow door knocker. I haven't seen him for a while. More fogging skull piles. Oh, here's some buckets. Let's put some stickers in. Here we go. We have some inflatables here, which we're going to come back and look at in a second, because I just want to see if they happen to have Gordo anywhere in here, and I am not seeing him. No, they do not. Okay, let's go back and look at these inflatables for a minute. Oh, how cool is this? It's a mystery machine pillow. What? Look at this. It's Ghostface saying, call me. <laughs> and I know I got sidetracked, but look at this. They have a Mind Flayer blanket and the Mars Attacks blanket. And they have this awesome Jack the Reaper blanket up here. Okay, let's look at the inflatables here because I am very tempted to get the snake. He's so huge. I want him badly, but I'm just not completely sold yet. I don't see anything else in here that we have not seen yet. And by that, I mean other years, like this coffin here. We've seen the jack-o'-lantern archway here. We've seen the hearse before, which is really cool. Of course, I have the fright in the box. The ghost, the reaper, the gargoyle, the haunted tree, and the rat who is new for this year. The hello rat. Yeah, I'm thinking about that snake, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, looky what we have here. The secret keeping cats are telling secrets to each other. Well, we're going to do a little something about that. You're coming up here for a timeout. That's right. Unless you tell me what you had for breakfast, you're going nowhere, buddy. Nothing? Okay. I guess that's how it goes. They do have my favorite zombie rabbit, Carrot. I love Carrot. I just want to buy him and give him a name tag that says Carrot and hangs right there in the front. And they do have scabs as well. Hello, scabs. You are a cute little fellow. I'm sorry about your femur sticking out there. Holy crap, look at this spooky hanging witch. Look how long her mouth is, her jaw. Wait a minute, what the heck? Does her nose move? Is she an animatronic? She sure does have spooky hands. Wait a minute, here we go. Is it a button? Press. Oh. She is, well, she's sort of an animatronic. Her eyes light up, she talks, she makes some witchy sounds, and she moves a little bit. She's almost as scary as this music they're playing in here. What the heck? <laughs> 
Chewwoman. Hookhead hog. One ham hock for sale. All right, let's pay a visit to our trusty zombie babies over here. So I believe there are more new ones this year, but the two that they have here right now are this guy who looks like he's eating the silence of the lambs and this guy who I don't even know what he looks like except for maybe he's just like Pfft. I swear that is so juvenile I am almost embarrassed to just stand here and make farting sounds <laughs> they do have this that's making its rounds online the zombie baby's cradle and I gotta tell you guys I can't believe it is so heavy I think it is legit made of real wood and then of course we have these awesome guys and it looks like they only have ghost face and Sam I am still undecided whether I'm gonna buy these or not guys they're so cool but I just don't really have the room for them yet even though I just bought a house I'm already out of room because I have so much stuff I guess you guys will have to wait I know, I'm sorry. They do have these little lights, which are totally awesome and super cute, if I must say. <laughs> and they light up. Well, there must be like a tab you got to pull or something. But this guy is so cool. When they had the ghost face buckets at the theater for the Cinemark for the ghost face part six, this is what the cup should have looked like right here with like a hole on the top for your straw. That would have been totally awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this. It is a wreath with Sam in the middle of it. Hello, Michael. We haven't looked at any costumes yet, but we do have all season, so I think I'm gonna put that off for a little bit. But look at this awesome little ghosty mug. What the heck, that is so cool. Whoa, that is some creepy skeleton love right there. Okay, so that brings us back around, guys, to the Howling Spirit or the Black Heart. Of course, there is a Grave Watcher here too, and I definitely want to pick her up as well. I don't think I want Slim, although I do want Shorty, so I'm probably gonna regret it if I don't get Slim. Wait a moment, what is this? An E.T. tin? Is there anything in here? I think it's just an empty tin, but that is awesome. You know what, since I'm so undecided right now, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this guy if I can get him down. That is a nice, heavy throw right there. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad they put these out this year. Holy crap, guys, I cannot believe that I just missed this lady right here, the widow. I'm sorry, miss. Do you still love me? Uh-oh, that's a no. Ah!